Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, as you can probably tell by my face, my lack of makeup, my damp hair, I've literally just had a shower because I have roughly just gotten in uh, from my first ever student lock-in. Ooh, but heavy, you're not a student. I know I'm not a student, I know I'm technically an apprentice now and I dropped out of uni, but I still have my uni ID and I love the discount. So, and technically I am still a student, so I thought I would go along with my friend anyway. Now, I don't quite know what has suffered more from this student lock-in between my feet and my bank account because I had bought a heck load of stuff and at the time I just kept thinking I need it, I need it all, I need free pop vinyl figures No Heather, you really didn't but I thought because I got so much I would do a little, little haul video for you to let you see all the useless crap that I bought Also, before I start I can feel like some people are going to be questioning what's on my shirt. I got this in Iceland from the Penis Museum and it says this museum is not for pussies. Before you think I'm just being creepy, it's a genuine museum. I went with my ex and his family um, and yeah, you get to look at a, a large number of animal penises. It's very odd and I still think the largest one there was on my ex's head. That's a joke, that's a joke. Right, first things first, I feel like I should start with Lush. Lush isn't usually a shop I go into, but because there was a student discount and I went insane, I felt like I had to anyway. The student discount that was on in Lush was if you spend £25, you get a £25 goodie bag. So me and my friend thought that we might spend £25 on our own, so we will sort of purchase the things together and then separate the things in the goodie bag. The first thing that I picked up to buy was, oh my god, I don't remember its name, a bath bomb, it's this thing, it's this lovely orangey pinky colour which usually isn't my style and it's shimmery uh, and it just smells like, uh, like the little sweets, the little like, is it fizzes or something like that, it smells so good, like sherbet and I just, ah, uh, I love it. I don't usually like stuff from Lush, but I just think that was absolutely oh, just delightful. I loved it. The next thing I bought was one of the things on a stick, the flamingo things. Again, I just think these smell quite nice. Uh, very strong. I wouldn't have these all the time, but I feel like when I'm in the mood for scent, it's very good. And it's bright pink, which isn't my usual colour, and I hope that it doesn't dye my body pink. Again, it's a little bit shimmery, a little bit pretty, and it's on a stick, so who doesn't like something on a stick? The final thing I actually bought from Lush, which was a given to me in a goodie bag, was something I've heard a lot of great reviews about, and it was the Intergalactic Bath Bomb. Now, every time I check this out, I get covered in blue sparkles, um, so I'm being very careful with that, but I don't usually like mint and the smell of mint, but to me that just smells like the sea, a minty, but not too minty sea, and it's glittery and pretty and I can't wait to use it, but I can wait uh, to clean the bath out because I can already tell that that is going to be a pain to clean off your bath up. The next shop I went into was h and I can't remember if they had 10 or 20% off, I, I really don't know, but I found two shirts I like and it's not really a short, uh, a shop even, not a short, that I usually go in, but I found this sort of ripped Kurt Cobain stuff, um, stuff, what am I about? This ripped Kurt Cobain shirt and I just thought this was really nice in the summer with a pair of shorts and it says, the quote, wanting to be someone else is a waste of who you are. Kurt Cobain. Um, I, I like Kurt Cobain, I like Urbana, and I just love that quote and I love this shirt. So I thought I might as well pick it up because I love it. The next thing I bought was this just long cardi. I love this colour so much. Um, as you can probably tell by these videos, I'm always wearing this colour. But it's just long and I thought that would look really nice with just a black shirt on underneath and it's very light and thin. So I thought I could also get away with it in the summer I don't like showing off all my skin and my bingo wings. So yeah, they're the two things that I got from H&M. Next up, I went to a shop called Mankind. This is a very dangerous shop for me to go into because I end up buying the whole shop. Um, they had a 10% discount going on, which was awesome, and I bought a Harry Potter pop vinyl figure because I just thought it was so cute. I bought Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, and 
I also bought a Ron Weasley pop vinyl figure. I did go a bit crazy in there, but hey ho. If you cannot go crazy when they're 10% off, when can you go crazy? Next, I went to Thornton. Um, again, they had 10% off, and they were also offering a little bag of chocolates with every purchase. So I bought two of these dark chocolate coated ginger bits because they're just delicious and they're mine and my mum's favourite. And lastly, from this big fan kind bag, of, um, I went to Body Shop. I got this uh, tea tree uh, direct spot stick thing. I've had one of these before, they work really well. If you've got, like me, a massive spot, I usually get them on my chin. You can just dab it on and it sort of dries it up and it's fantastic. And I also got this Aloe uh, Vera Eye Defense Serum thing. Um, I've never used this before, but I've had Aloe Vera is so good for your skin and lightening dark circles. And as you probably know by now, I've got very dark circles beneath my eyes. So I thought I would pick that up and hopefully I would look worse like a zombie all of that time. Last but not least, I went to Primark. They didn't exactly have a student discount thing on, but they had two people in a Chewbacca onesies taking photos with people, and obviously me and my friend could not resist that. And um, they have the usual sell items, and they said also that they would do a little bag pack thing if you spend over £25. Uh, I think I have the pack here, it's the rip in my bag. It was pretty shite to be honest but I think they're just not just give a last minute I appreciate the thought so you get this tote bag thing obviously uh, you get a little pack of fruity mentos but I don't like them uh, a teeny tiny hand cream uh, this thing whatever it is a lip balm I've never heard of it before and I got a body butter of mine um, so yeah that was that um, obviously it wasn't the best thing but I thought it was a cute little idea so why not? And now for the masses that I bought in Primark. First of all, I picked up Bio Oil. Uh, usually they sell this stuff in other shops such as Boots and Superdrug, but it's super expensive. And I think it was only about £9 um, in Primark for this massive 125ml bottle. Um, I love this, it works on. I'm not gonna lie, I like every girl. I've got birthmark, I've got stretch marks, I've got scars, especially on my legs when I've cut myself shaving, all that jazz. So I just like putting bio oil on it and watching them sort of fade away a bit. So if you know you're really self conscious for that, especially with summer coming up, I'd suggest grabbing some bio oil um, and yeah, just putting it on any scars, stretch marks, anything like that. And to me, it works, and I know to other people it works. It may work for you, it may not, I'm sorry if it doesn't, um, but yeah, I, it works for me, so I'd suggest that to you. Next up from Primark, I bought one of their candles. This is sea salt and lavender, and my god, it smells delicious. They have loads of different... <sighs> they have loads of different variations of this candle. They had the normal stick one, like a round one, tea lights, but I just like this, and it's a little... It's a little glass thing, I just thought it was really cute. And it literally smells so good. It smells a little bit like men. I think that's why I like it. It has that sort of nice man smell. And yeah, I just think it smells absolutely delicious. So I was very glad that I picked that up. Next up, for £12, I picked up this thing. I don't know if it's a shot. It's a lit up, lit up. No, it's not lit up, Heather. It's a light up chalkboard quote bubble thing. And I just thought it was so adorable. And I'm sure I will one day have it held up here with the word pizza on it, as that's all I can think about. And I just thought it was cute, and I thought it would work really well in my room, seeing as it's black and purple and green. Uh, it takes two AA batteries as well, so you don't have to worry about a wire tracing around everywhere. I just thought it was really cute, and for £12, I thought that was amazing. And I absolutely love the Primark home stuff at the moment. I love all their quotes, all their light up things, everything like that. It's so me. And so Pinterest and I love it so yeah as for clothes I picked up this um, it's a dress we it's got this little like crochet thing on the back um, I just really like the color of this and I thought it was cute in the summer and it doesn't show off too much cleavage which I quite like and it's quite stretchy and soft and I thought that I could wear it with this thing that I picked up uh, which is just sort of like a crocheted cardi thing 
and I thought that would just look really cute over the top um, and yeah it's just really nice and baggy and I got it a size bigger as well just so you can sort of throw it over yourself you no know, summer nights when you're drinking beer and toasting marshmallows and all that jazz so I just thought that was really cute and I don't think it's too expensive so I just thought I'd pick it up because why the hell not it's primer also from Primark I picked up this, I'm getting in a tangle, little vest top, it's just black, it's got birds on and I just thought it was cute, as well as this, I don't know why I picked this up because I don't like the black one around it but it's got anchors on and again I just thought it would be cute, nice little thing in the summer, maybe when I'm on holiday, something like that, when I just can't be bothered. I also picked up some pairs of pants, I'm not sure if this is showing too much, but it's got Harry Potter on it. I was pretty damn chuffed with that. Um, I also got Coca Cola ones because I thought they were cute. So there you go, you now know what pants I shall be wearing. Um, I picked up this pair of pyjama shorts, it's got the Hogwarts thing on it, I just they were cute and small and nice for the summer. Oh, I've just got so much stuff, it's actually unbelievable. Um, to go with that little pair of hot board shorts, I bought a hot board shirt. I've already got a million Harry Potter related pyjama shirts, but oh wow. Oh my gosh, I've just broken everything. Next up, I got a Gryffindor pyjama shirt, which are accompanied by these little, these little cute Gryffindor bottoms. Again, they're just nice and short, and during the summer, I usually sleep in my pants anyway without pyjama bottoms on so I thought during the summer it might just be nice to have a little pair of shorts on and I thought if I'm not feeling very Gryffindor that day, if I've had a bad day at work I also bought the Slytherin version um, I feel like this is my true Harry Potter house um, and I just thought it would be cute I think this is a size smaller because they didn't have my size uh, so it could be utterly horrific for anyone who ever sees me in my pyjamas so I would apologise in advance for that one and that is it. Thank you all for watching. If you ever get the chance to go to Student Lock In, I suggest you go to it. Honestly, it wasn't as busy as, uh, as I thought it would be. There we go, Heather. Well done. Um, obviously, because I have anxiety and stuff like that, I was dreading the thought of being in a million crushed shops and being really closed in and having a panic attack in front of everyone. But no, it was alright. It was a laugh. There was a photographer there who kept taking photos of me. So there will be a million and one horrendous photos on the internet, I'd assume. Um, but overall I had an amazing time and yeah, it was really good, it was really good fun. And the shop staff are also a lot friendlier than they usually are. So if you ever get the chance to go to one, I suggest you do. Um, and yeah, I feel like I should really develop an outro, uh, but I really can't be asked. So there's all the things I bought, if you like this, like it, subscribe, blah blah blah, I don't feel like I need to tell you that, you're not all a bunch of idiots, of course you're not if you're watching my videos, obviously. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!